Minister of Finance, Colm Imbur, said as it stands, government is collecting $400 million less per year from the casino and gaming industry. He said there are in excess of 20,000 gaming machines in this country. The tax on each one of these things is the, the slot machines, the amusement slot machines, is $3,000. So let's use the low number, 20000 The government should be collecting $60 million. $3,000 per machine per year by 20,000 machines is $60 million in revenue from these amusement slot machines. The Added to that, there are almost 1,000 amusement roulette machines from which government is supposed to collect $36 million. In total, government is supposed to collect around $100 million. For the fiscal year 2015, $5 million. For the... 5.023 million. For the fiscal year 2016, 8.563 million. And for fiscal 2017, 7.99 million. $8 million, Madam Speaker, is the collection for these amusement gaming machines. We're supposed to get in 100. But that's not all. Don't talk about the other ones, you know. The estimate I have of the amount of machines they have outside there and devices and tables. The estimate of revenue we should be getting is close to $400 million. And what are we collecting, Madam Speaker? $48 million. So we're getting $48 million from the devices in the private members club, and we're getting $8 million from the bars, when the two together should be giving us five. <laughs> hundred million dollars. These are the facts. In response, the president of the Amusement Gaming Association, Russell Bahadur Singh, said the information presented is simply wrong and incorrect, and as a result, he wants the minister to provide facts about the number of machines in the country. Mr. Bahadur Singh said what is needed is not additional taxes, but proper enforcement of the existing taxes to those that are not compliant to meet the required tax amount. He said the AGA remains open to dialogue on this matter with the minister to clarify many of the misconceptions he has about this industry. Rishi Harinanan, CNews.